halftime. Uh, you know, a few mistakes we had to get cleaned up, a few uh, misfits, a few things in coverage. But for the most part, this game never changes. This game's about getting off blocks. It's about tackling. It's about covering. We just got to do our fundamentals. Our eyes had to be right. Everybody's got to do their job on every single play, one play at a time for 85 plays in a row. And there, there's not much else to it. Yeah, you know, uh, Ernest had his first start, you know, did a good job. Obviously, there's going to be some mistakes from a, from a young guy, first time out there, and especially in, in that environment. You know, it's a little different uh, going to Memorial Stadium in a packed house, uh, especially when you're from Nebraska. So um, Ernest made some mistakes. We'll get those cleaned up. Like I said the other day, he, he's going to be a fantastic player. He's going to continue to get better and better and better. Uh, you know, Luke did a good job running the show when he was out there. Chris stepped in and, and took a lot of uh, valuable reps for us. You know, so it, I felt I felt like they played a good game. What's the authority you play this week? Your defensive scheme has to be a little bit different. I don't have much to throw the ball around. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a few a few tweaks in coverage, obviously, um, more formational stuff than anything because of some of the things they do. <clears throat> you know, if you let them get uh, in front of the sticks, it's going to turn into a track meet on that drive. Uh, so there's you know tempo situations you got to get ready for, formation stuff you got to get ready for, and then they have some. Um, interesting passes that put some players in conflict that we have to get ready for too so uh it's a nice offense you know they they, they have a good scheme and obviously the guy's been doing it for a while he's got it pretty much perfected so uh a lot a lot of stuff to get ready for did you like the look of the defensive line rotation a little bit more in game two than maybe what you used in game one in terms of snaps and personnel yeah yeah i think that uh you know i think that the rotation was pretty good you know i thought once again you know some of those guys you know stefan and, and devin showed that once again that they, they played a good football game. Um, Mosai got in there a little bit. You know, Blaze and Jamari got in there a little bit. So I'd like to continue to bring some of those guys that didn't get as many reps along a little bit, but I was pretty happy with the with the flow of the rotation. Just to, when you look at the two games, how do you feel about where your defense is? Yeah, not good enough. Not good enough yet. Uh, once again, not up to our standard. Uh, but I, I, I feel like this is a young group. Uh, that's hungry, that, that wants to be good, that wants to win, wants to do things the right way, and I think that they'll continue to get better and better each and every week, and that, that's the exciting thing about this group. Oh, you know, I, I think, I don't know if it's, if it's the learning curve. I think it's just, you know, practice very controlled environment the calls are coming in at a you know moderate pace those types of things then when they start coming in quickly you know as as the game picks up and the, and the lights are shining in your face and the crowd's roaring and it, it's you know it's it's not the scout team anymore you know your mind starts to to drift a little bit if you're not locked in you know so just probably getting locked in in that environment and uh being able to operate within the the different calls coming in was it i mean No, you know they they did a they did a pretty good job personnel and us and us getting in and out of uh, different packages. So I think we got settled down as the game went yeah. along. Uh, but you know that's that's not on on the kids at all. That's you know they they had a, a nice a nice way to personnel us yeah. a little bit, and and so they were causing a little confusion that way. So probably a couple calls got in late, but okay. that's not on the kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we still you know we still missed we still missed a few. Um, out there and <clears throat> some, you know, unfortunately most of the misses we've had the last couple of weeks have led to extending drives. Uh, we've got to do a better job leveraging the football right now. Uh, all levels of the, of the defense, D-line, linebackers, DBs, everyone's got to do a better job leveraging the football. And when you leverage the football, those missed tackles, if you do get a missed tackle, they turn into one extra yard instead of five or six or, or plus. Uh, so we just got to do a better job leveraging the football right now. How would you gauge Isaac at this progress and where he was starting at the end of last year and moving on into this year now? Yeah, much more comfortable um, with his role, you know, being out there with the starting group, uh, you know, communication-wise, feeling like he has some say. You know, kind of last year, you know, you're a young guy and you get thrown in as a quote-unquote non-starter that takes a, a starting role at the end of the year and you're kind of listening and 
waiting and having other people help you out. Now he's able to communicate with everybody else. Uh, but I really like what Isaac's done the last couple couple weeks. Why does that happen? Well, like we said, if they if they sub a personnel grouping late, you know, if if they're in you know if they're in one personnel grouping in and we get them a call in, and then they sub a personnel grouping late, then we got to sub our personnel grouping in late. And when that group gets in there, then we got to give them a new call. So, uh, I mean, it, it's it's a lot to do with everything. It's a lot to do with the tempo in which they sub and how long you know the officials give us the iron cross for. And sometimes, it, sometimes that game goes fast, and the, the officials don't see that sub coming in late, or they don't see exactly when our guys are coming in. And they started a little quick, but uh, you know, we just got to get them in quicker. How much change for you when you don't have him? How much what? How much changes for you when you don't have him? Oh, I, you know, I think obviously when you when you don't have Nick out there, you don't have the same rotation. Uh, you know, Nick is. I think Nick makes everybody on the field feel at ease a little bit. Um, which, which can't be the safety blanket, but I think he just he brings a calmness to everything um, because he's, he's very calm in, in switching calls, making checks. He, he's, he's just he's really good communicator, and the guys trust him. Um, not that they don't trust the other guys, but he's just, he's just like a – it's just a very calming factor when he's out there. On uh, Nick, uh, whatever the uh, training room tells me that the status is with him. So hopefully he's back very soon. Yeah, you know, uh, you, you talk to all those guys like that, you know, that passion, that energy, you know, it's like it's like a fire, right? Use correctly, it can heat the house. Use incorrectly, it can burn the sucker down. So you, you just got to learn. I want that emotion. I want that passion. But you got to learn when and where, and you got to learn to use it to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. Hey, how crazy, uh, how crazy is the college football world we live in now where Van Trees is Buffalo's quarterback, and then this year you're going to see him again for – yeah, I mean, it's it's the Wild West right now. Uh, I'm not in charge of that. You know, obviously, there's a lot of advantages to the portal. There's a lot of disadvantages. There's some good, there's some bad for coaches and for players and families. Um, but that's the world we live in, and that's just how we got to adjust. Yeah, you know, especially when you're playing defensive back, right? Every defensive back in the history of football since the beginning of time has given up a deep ball or given up a pass, right? And those guys got to be next, next, next. When you make a great play, my, my advice to all those guys is if you never want to be wrong, you celebrate with your teammates. Spontaneous celebration, spontaneous emotion amongst teammates is my favorite part of football. It's one of the best pieces in college football. When you make it about yourself, it's usually wrong. That's when flags happen. That's when bad things happen. So as long as you're celebrating with yourself, with another teammate, everything's going to be good. No, not yet. Uh, right now, uh, you know, the things I addressed the, the, the defense with was, you know, leveraging the football like we already talked about. That'll save us a lot. Finishing drives. Um, right right now, they, they're playing hard, you know. Um, we always want more effort, right, but they're playing hard. So right now, thankfully, we don't have to correct that. We've got to correct a few technique issues, leveraging the football, and finishing on drives right now. Yeah, I thought Stefan played a really good football game. I think he's, once again, he's one of those guys we're talking about, just keeps getting better and better. And as he's probably more comfortable, you know, just with exactly what he's supposed to do on every single snap, with every single look, he's going to continue to get better. But I thought he played a really good football game. What do you think about that play you made recovering the fumble? What's that? What do you think about that play you made recovering the fumble? Diving on that? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's what we're talking about, you know, in the thing, and it hasn't come to fruition enough. But generally, the turnover aspect is if you watch college football, you know, if you watch NFL football, it's, it's, it's overthrows and tips. It's guys stripping the football out. And then it's just pure hustle to get to that tip, to get to that overthrow, to get to that fumble. And you, you love to see a guy, especially a big guy, hustling downfield and, and recovering one of those. Um, 
I, I, I love ones on ones um, for, for the sheer fact that, you know, it, it may be differing on the on the offensive side, on, on the defensive side, like you know what they're going to do for their base plays, but they can come out and do anything they want. So I, I don't care what we do. I just like seeing good guys, good blockers blocking good defensive linemen. I like seeing good receivers running full speed routes on good DBs. I just I just like that that part of the game where we can, you know, you don't have to have it be 80 reps, but you know, 12 or 20 a day where you're getting your ones and your twos, 10 reps a piece, really banging against a good guy, really covering a good guy, those types of things. I think that's invaluable. Yeah, just because you're good on good doesn't mean you're, you're live tackle, you know. So, but the, the reaction time, I think, for those guys making the tackles is, is, a, is a huge piece of it. Thanks. All right. See you guys.